everyone. So there were people asked me to do a tutorial about the texture that I did in my previous tutorials. And that's why I'm here. Also, there were people saying that there was no voice over the tutorials that um, I posted before. Mm, so this time I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do it myself. And trust me, over time, you can do this in one minute. So let's dive into it, all right? So here's how we're going to do it. Um, we're going to create the exact same texture as this one here. Mm, all right, let's create a glossy material. And open the note editor as usual. And I'm going to change the diffuse color to 77%. Add a gradient to the specular gradient here. All right. Change it to change the mode to complex so that you can change the color to what you want. And you can add multiple color to the gradient, but here in this tutorial, I'm gonna add two colors. One gray, 7% of gray, and 45%, 100%. So it's a light red. Um, oh! So now we're going to make it reflexive. Um, I'm going to change the index to, um, normally I would change it to 7 or 8. So um, it's more like what you would do to make a metal, metallic material. That's what I like to do. I like it reflexive. And um, make it change the roughness to 0.4 or you can change it to like 0.3 or even 0.2 as you wish i'll keep it to 0.4 here's most important part of this tutorial so here we're going to do we're going to ch change the film index and the film width to make it look to make the iridescent texture, all right? So as you lower the film index to one and change the film width, you can get that kind of feel as you increase it. So here we go. See, that's what happened. And you can do it however you like. Uh, so this is close to the one that we have. Let's see if this is the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to do it. And apply these on that. Hmm, close. Not so, not exactly the same. But, do, do, do. all right. Hmm. I feel like that's it. That's it, right? Okay, yeah. Um, well, if you would like to change this, so basically this one, if you change the diffuse to lighter, the whole, the whole color would be lighter, the colors and the gradients. And so if you change it to dark colors, it's going to be darker. But for the, oh, I also did something like this, this texture before. And sometimes I would, I would change the, mm, I wouldn't make the texture, change the texture of it, not just simply like this, but for, like, just to keep it short, we'll do it this way. Um, okay, this is okay too. And let's try it on this one. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, so it's more like a reddish color. Um, how about purple? Hmm, a little bit dirty. Um, green. Cool. Oh, this is interesting. I like it. How about um, how about a 
Really? Huh. This is quite cool too. I mean, the whole colors are quite interesting to Ooh. I like it. Mm. So, if you wanna... Also, you can change the film width to whatever you like. Oh, oh, oh. So this is what happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like it. It's so... So much like metal. I like that kind of metal feel. And if you change the area to zero, like, basically nothing is there. Oh, okay, that's it. So, that's it for today. And if you have any question or any request, please leave a comment below or DM me on Instagram. So that I will, and I will reply as soon as possible, okay? Also, I want you, there is something that I want you to do right now. Do try it, my, try it yourself. I mean, not myself, try it yourself. I've already tried it many times. So try it yourself. You can spend like just a few minutes on that instead of watching TV or um, Netflix. So bye-bye, bye-bye. I'll see you next time.